What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we are going to be checking out probably the most advanced Bluetooth headphone on the planet right now. This guy over here, the Sony WH-1000X Mark IVs or M4s, whatever tickles your fancy. But Sony was cool enough to partner with me for this video and send out both color options. So we'll take a closer look at this in a second, but today, we got to talk about why these bad boys are probably one of the craziest headphones you can get right now. So first up, if you've seen the Mark III's, you're probably pretty familiar with this design. They didn't really change much up over here. Only real physical difference is that we've got a slightly larger headband, so it's a bit thicker, which will mean a little bit more comfort when you throw these guys on. And like I showed you before, it comes in another color option over here. These are the platinum silver color. But honestly, guys, if you take a real good look at it, we're looking more like a beige, you know? But just so you know what to expect, it's not like a hardcore silver color. But you can't go wrong with either one, whether you just like a pair of black headphones or you wanna brighten it up a little bit. Jay, which one do you like the most? Oh, you're a black kind of guy, man. Oh, no, I'm gonna go with silver. What? Okay, that's a surprise. These do look clean, though. Yeah. I bought one of I bought one for my dad, the Mark III is in this color. So they both have a very clean, minimal design. Uh, one thing that I like about these is that even though they're traditional Bluetooth headphones with all the controls that you'd expect to have on them, you have very minimal buttons. Honestly, there's only two buttons, but it also has touch panels on the side. So you can control your music instead of having buttons to press. You can do little gestures. You can swipe up and down left and right to switch tracks, volume controls, all that stuff, double tap, answer calls. You get all those kind of touch gestures and stuff right here on the side of the ear cup. So it keeps it nice and clean looking. So you can pretty much wear these with just about anything. So design wise, solid. It's also functional because you got a folded design. So if you wanna pack these away, you can definitely get this into like a small area in a backpack or something. Uh, it also comes with a case that it could be laid down flat in. It has a hard shell case that you can throw it inside of. This will also fit in a backpack with no problem. As you can see here, you got your headphones, you got your cables if you need it, any little extra accessories like the USB cable. You can all fit it inside of here. It also comes with like a little mesh pouch over here. So if you wanna throw anything extra in, maybe some extra cables or something, you can do that. And for me, whenever I'm buying a pair of over the ear headphones, I'm always looking for that kind of flexibility. Can it fold? Can it lay flat? All that kind of stuff. And this checks all the boxes. So it's absolutely portable. And like I said before, we got some extra cushions. So this is a little bit thicker, feels a little bit more comfortable. We still have the same plush leather ear cups on the sides. So when you throw these on, they feel great. You don't get a lot of clamping force. You don't feel like any extra pressure so you don't get that ear fatigue. I can wear these for hours without skipping a beat. Now I mentioned not a lot of clamping force, but in a good way, it definitely feels secure on the head. It doesn't feel loose at all. Definitely very solid. Now, even though these largely share the same design as the Mark III's, there's a new addition right here in the left ear cup that's pretty tucked away and that's a proximity sensor. So this enables all kinds of cool features like being able to listen to your music, take it off your head, and it'll automatically pause it. That, that's a must have feature, can we all agree? That when you take off your earbuds, you don't want your music to keep playing because you're not listening to it. This gives you the ability to do that, and it even works if you're just using it to listen to somebody, you can just, hmm, hmm? and then it'll pause your music. So it does all that, that's what we come to expect. It can even auto power off once you're not wearing it for a while. Uh, but we'll talk more about like the cool little features and the automatic things that it does in just a second because there are a ton of different features which is why I call these the most advanced headphones. So I wanna talk about the sound quality. You know how I feel about this line of headphones. The sound quality is awesome. Honestly, you can throw just about anything at these headphones and it's probably going to excel at that. I listen to a ton of different genres of music, whether it's rap and hip hop, anime music, right, Carl? Ah, oh, forget it, Carl, you fumbled it. I listen to anime music too. Oh, Carl, you, uh, Jay, you listen to, okay, Jay listens to anime music? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. But I do listen to a ton of different music, whether it's rap or hip hop, anime songs, alternative rock, lots of different genres, classical music these days because of the baby. And honestly, I haven't been disappointed by what these can produce, 
by any means. What's awesome is that this thing does have a companion app which we'll talk about with all those features. And within that app, you can even go ahead and change up the sound profile. You can change up the EQ so it can match your taste. Honestly, I like to just mess around with that bass because that's what I'm all about. I was actually really surprised because I used these yesterday to watch a basketball game. I didn't want to wake up the baby, so I had these on the commercials for like some movies that were coming out that were gonna be streamed. Uh, <laughs> those movies sounded crazy in my ears. Now, honestly, I was just really surprised that a random movie commercials just felt so full and it felt, I wanna say like a theater-like experience that sounds super cheesy, but it just took me off guard. I was like, oh, whoa, what is this audio coming in when I saw it? So super surprising. I don't really think about headphones when it comes to like watching movies, but if I wanted to, I definitely think that these would provide an awesome experience. Cause honestly, when it comes to sound, these are probably my favorite headphones out right now, especially Bluetooth headphones, unless I'm looking for something a bit more exaggerated and then I'd go for like the extra bass line. But this right now, top of my list in terms of sound quality. All right, so we know what these look like. We know they sound really good, but what about these features? What makes these so special, even though they look like, you know, pretty standard headphones? What can they do that's so crazy? What's all the tech behind it, right? Let's talk about that. So what we've got right here, guys, is the Sony Headphone Companion app. This app is basically where you have all the controls for the headphones and whew, better grab your snacks because there's a lot of them. So first thing on the intro page, you can of course control your music right from the app if you want. You'll notice that right here, I have two devices connected to the headphones, and that is a feature that we've been waiting for to come to this line of headphones, being able to pair multiple devices, and it is finally, finally here. So if you've got these connected to your phone and like your laptop or something, you can like listen to music from your laptop, and if you get like an incoming call, you can go ahead and answer right away. Now, if you're looking to just switch audio between two devices, it takes like a second to establish the connection between the headphones and the other device. So you just have to like wait like a tick and then you'll be able to hear your audio. But when it comes to calls, it's pretty instant. You can answer right away. You don't have to wait for anything. Now you'll also notice up here, it says adaptive sound control. So the adaptive sound control is basically where you can change up how the headphones react to all kinds of things, whether it's actions, locations, it can detect all of that and kind of change up the noise cancellation feature that you get inside of here with the ambient sound. So let's just say you're sitting on a bench somewhere, it'll actually turn on the ambient sound and allow you to hear people's voices. So if someone were to come up and walk to you and say something, you'd be able to hear them. It opens up the door for that. Uh, but let's say you're walking, it'll slightly decrease the amount that you hear people talking since you're already on the go and it'll start letting in things like vehicles. And if you're running, it'll amplify those sounds even more. If you're moving quickly, you're definitely gonna wanna hear cars going around. You're gonna wanna make sure you know what's happening around you. And if you are in a car or something, it'll just completely eliminate everything. This is like if you're on public transportation, you don't wanna hear people chattering, you don't wanna hear the hum of whatever vehicle you're in. It cancels out everything. It turns on that active noise canceling. And do we have to say it? These are like the best active noise canceling headphones you can get right now. It is so insane. Just like I said yesterday, when I was using these while the baby was sleeping, we have white noise machines everywhere. We try to make sure that little boy Austin stays asleep, right? If I were to show you guys what my normal night sounds like, it sounded a little something like this. So I know it's probably a bit hard to hear me right now, and this is what it's like every night, uh, but when I threw these on yesterday, it was crazy. It was just really nice to just set everything off around me until Ari tapped me repeatedly and said the baby was crying, and then I had to like, you know, take these off. So for us, we hear a lot of white noise, and that is what this thing specializes in canceling, just completely eliminating that. You're not gonna hear any of that with these on. Active noise canceling is top notch on these. Like I said, probably the best on the market. And like I mentioned, it'll even do it based on locations. So you go ahead and let it learn locations or you can specifically register locations for it so that it'll always do it whenever you get there. But it is just kind of crazy that these kind of features are offered. And when we go over to the next panel here, you can see that there's even more features that you have access to. One that I think is pretty interesting is the noise canceling optimizer. And it'll do that based on the way 
you wear the headphones or the location. It'll check the atmosphere, pressure, all that kind of stuff. So if you're on a plane and you're like, listen, I don't want to hear anything, you hit that button, let it do its thing, and you're not hearing a thing. There's also this other interesting feature called speak to chat. When you have it on and you have your headphones on, what it'll basically do is once you start talking, let's say you're in a conversation with someone, you start talking, it'll stop your music, it'll turn on the ambient noise to let that person's voice in, and you guys can have a conversation. That sounds cool until I don't know, maybe you say something by accident or maybe you even start singing along to a song. Then it kind of kicks in and then you have to stop it by actually going back and playing whatever you're listening to again just to get it going. I found it to be a cool feature. You can customize how long that pause lasts, uh, but honestly, it's not a feature that I really ever use because I felt like I was scared to trigger it when I didn't need it and then I'd have to go touch my phone to press play again. Didn't want to experience that, so I tend to leave it off, but if you're somebody who maybe does need that feature, it's kind of cool that it's there. Let me show you what that's like. Hey, Jay. Yeah? What's going on, man? Not much. Okay. Video. There you go. See, so I can completely hear Jay right now, but like, let's say we're done talking. It's still kind of going. Uh, my music hasn't played yet, so I have to go in, press play to get back to whatever I was doing. Oh, see, it stopped it again because it's detecting my voice probably thinks I'm in another conversation. So it works almost too well because it'll stop you every time. Like, what, uh, uh, what'd you say? So that is a super cool feature that makes complete sense. I just don't know if I'd use it much. Now let's say you don't care to use the speak to chat feature. There are other features that allow you to go ahead and still have a conversation with someone. One being taking the ear cup and putting it off to the side and it automatically pause your music, kind of like what we talked about before. And if that's not what you wanna do, it also has the ability to just pause your music and let in all the ambient sound by just putting your hand on the right ear cup like this. And then once you're done, right back to your music. So all that stuff is really useful in making use of the ambient noise control and the noise cancellation. One thing that I also like is when you take off the headphones, not only will it automatically pause it like we've been talking about, but if you just you know put them down and you don't use it for a little while, it'll automatically power off so that it can save battery. That is a must, must have feature in 2020. Putting down your earbuds or your headphones and their Bluetooth and they don't turn off, easy way to drain battery because you sometimes forget to turn it off. So just placing it down does everything you need to after a little bit of time. Now there's a new feature that they've added to these as well called 360 Reality Audio. So that is one of the cool things that you can do with these headphones now. Think of it like kind of like surround sound. It's 360 audio. You'll be able to kind of see the placement of certain sounds and the headphones do this like crazy analysis. It kind of takes, you have to like scan your ears and the side of your head. It's nuts, but it is, like I said, a really, really cool experience. Jay, have you tried the the sound test here for it? Oh yeah, you, it's, a, it's a huge thing. It's a huge, huge difference. So I personally really, really like it. I hope to see it on more apps, more things take advantage of it. That would be really cool. I think that Sony has like a list that have uh, content that supports 360 audio. It is absolutely worth checking out. And of course, we gotta talk about the mics, right? And that's a feature that a lot of you always ask me about and I don't realize until after I post the video that, oh, I should have talked about the mics. Well, these actually have some really special mics in here. So there are actually a few different mics around the ear cups. You can kind of see it on this left one over here. And what this does is it allows for Sony's precise voice pickup technology. Basically what that means is that you can have a lot of stuff going on around you and the person that you're speaking to will only hear your voice. So when it comes to headphones like these, that's exactly the kind of experience you want at least for the other person on the other end of the phone. So like I said, these have so many insane features, but how long can you actually use the headphones for, right? Well, you get about 30 hours with the noise canceling features on. And if you don't have the noise canceling features on, you get 38 hours of battery life. So that's, can you complain? I think not. But let's say you do forget to charge these headphones and you need to use them really quickly, a 10 minute charge gives you five hours of usage. So you charge these up for just 10 minutes, you can get from one place to another with these headphones and you're not worried about this thing dying on you. And it uses USB type C, so we've got an updated cable and they retail for about 350 bucks. So you are getting what you pay for, 
Honestly, I don't know if I'd change anything about these. At this point, Sony is absolutely crushing it with these headphones and these are an easy recommendation. So let me know what you guys think of the Sony WH-1000X Mark IVs. For me personally, these are absolutely my go-to Bluetooth headphones. These are probably the best and most advanced headphones you'll find on the market right now, and I am glad they are here. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. Shout out to Sony, man. When it comes to headphones, they're honestly crushing it. I'm fanboying, I'm sorry, but I love what they do. Later, guys.